This is a quick demonstration of vFabric Data Director, both today, its GA capabilities, and what we're working on for tomorrow, done at VMworld 2011. vFabric Data Director is something that makes databases a service simple and easy. As you can see here, I can log in as a multi-tenant uh, environment, and I can easily, as either uh, administrator, as an organizational uh, administrator or as an individual user, go in and quickly and easily create databases on demand. These databases are leveraging a, a customized version of Postgres that can uh, leverage the elasticity provided by the fact that it's running on top of vSphere. But it's simple and easy to rapidly create large numbers of databases. Underneath this is leveraging all of the enhancements and capabilities part of vSphere 5. Uh, all of the underlying storage uh, technologies in the vStorage APIs like VAAI. Um, and as you can see here, the uh, process of creating databases is simple and easy. The reason that this is important is that uh, the database administrators uh, often uh, seek alternatives to uh, uh, rapid provisioning if it's not available internally. And occasionally, these alternatives uh, are outside the enterprise, and um, you know there's a, a path where they're going to go to the easiest uh, possible way to get at what they need, which is a simple and easy database. Um, the other thing that's uh, true of most enterprises is that while uh, uh, vFabric Data Director is not designed in any way, shape, or form to go after the large mission critical databases at the heart of most enterprises, for every one of those there's often hundreds and sometimes even thousands of small test and dev instances that exist uh, around an enterprise. Now one thing that's important is that while this shares a lot of the same characteristics from a multi-tenancy standpoint, uh, a structure and architecture and design, uh, with vCloud Director, um, you can see that certain things are different. This is very much geared for the database use case. You can see that not only is it creating VMs, but it actually is uh, doing uh, processes where it's actually installing and starting database services inside those VMs. In other words, it's providing true database in a cloud fashion, database as a service. The database profiles can be customized in any way. Um, and the other thing that is important to highlight is that uh, while we're obviously using the UI here, uh, like all things cloud, uh, vFabric Data Director has got a rich API and everything can be done programmatically um, and done externally, which means that it can be used in a way where uh, it's completely automated as part of uh, any given workflow. So here you can see that the databases that we initiated creating earlier are just about done. Nothing could have been faster, nothing could have been easier, nothing could have been uh, simpler. But we've created things just leveraging the, the native and included Postgres-based database. Again, optimized for vSphere, leveraging hot out of memory, hot out of CPU for elasticity. But vFabric Data Director is more than just what you see here. It's a platform on which databases as a service could be offered up for other database services. So, we have here a future build of vFabric Data Director. And what you'll notice is that there's other database types added. One common request in the beta was people wanted to be able to use this to actually provision Oracle databases on demand. So it can become a database as a service portal for Oracle as well. Um, simplifying Oracle test and dev cycles dramatically. Um, but keeping all of the strong benefits that Oracle has within uh, the customer's enterprise. Uh, another example of database services that would be incredibly useful would be these new next generation database models which are uh, leveraging scale out and in memory models. For example, Gemfire and SQL Fire. So for example, uh, SQL Fire is a scale out model, uh, part of the vFabric um, um, and uh, a spring portfolio of services. You can see here that this can become a simple and easy database as a service model for uh, SQL Fire. Another example of database services is not just for classic transactional workloads, but things that are around big data and analytics. And the leader there is EMC Greenplum. So if we take a look at an example of this, you could go in and you could uh, uh, provision a Greenplum database if you'd like. Um, so you can see here that uh, vFabric Data Director is more than just uh, you know a single database example. It's a platform that enables uh, databases as a service. Uh, in a multi-tenant fashion, it enables uh, service providers to offer this. It offers the uh, enterprise the ability uh, to do this as a private cloud service within the walls of their enterprise. Uh, again, simple and easy. Very, very compelling. 
Here we're completing the provisioning of the Green Plum database, and off it goes. Again, in each one of these cases I was accepting the defaults, but of course I could have customized these in a number of ways, uh, both uh, customizing the characteristics of the virtual machine that is running the database, as well as uh, the database build within the VM itself. Um, so don't let uh, the simplicity and ease of use um, uh, uh, not portray the incredible power and flexibility that's part of vFabric Data Director. So, not only is provisioning important, obviously we've gained great agility benefits here by cloudifying the database and creating a multi-tenant self-service portal for creating database instances. But um, a very common use case is uh, backup, recovery, cloning of databases. So what we're going to show here is in the GA capability, the incredibly sophisticated backup, recovery, um, and uh, cloning capabilities. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in and I'm setting a manual backup where I'm saying uh, let's do it a snapshot based mechanism let's uh, um, uh, retain it for a certain amount of time and again this is doing a VMware snapshot but once again if you're lucky enough to be using an EMC VAI enabled array the array is actually hardware assisting in this uh, t task um, whether it's on an NFS based data store or a VMFS based data store the other option that you have is you have the option of creating clones the clones you can set, uh, specify a separate uh, uh, data store as the target and you can also do an external backup that creates all sorts of uh, very powerful uh, choices that uh, we'll discuss momentarily so for example here if we say external and uh, let's give it a, a pre-patch label so we're about to patch something inside the operating uh, system within uh, or patch the database um, you can see I've done it externally here. That external one is targeted towards a different data store. Now you can imagine that that data store is maybe actually something like a data domain target um, where you're exposing an NFS data store. It's being deduped and backed up as part of the process and then replicated off site. Simple and easy. Uh, alternatively, you could use it for very creative purposes using EMC VPlex, where you're going to a data store that's being replicated in an active, active fashion uh, to a separate site where it could be leveraged for all sorts of funky purposes while it's running. Um, so simple and easy solutions for backup and recovery built right in. Now the other thing that's interesting here is you can see if we go into uh, the database, it inherits uh, a backup policy. Um, which you can then go in and you can uh, change, for example, like we did an on-demand backup. We can say here, I'd like to take a snapshot every four hours, and um, I'd like to retain that for a total of, of n hours. Um, and then you can also specify whether you want to do external backups uh, in addition to that. Um, you can also see that there's some very sophisticated point-in-time uh, backup and recovery capabilities that can be enabled. Um, so very, very cool stuff, very sophisticated capabilities uh, that are available as part of this database as a service model. So now that we've done all of these things, uh, we're now we've taken our, our pre-patch backups, we've done one that's a snapshot, we've changed the backup schedule, um, you know, all sorts of things like that. We can obviously uh, go in and refresh that list. We could do recovery. Um, and uh, a lot of great flexibility around that. So for example here, if I wanted to take a clone of this, uh, I could recover it, I could repair it, but here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'd like to create a linked clone where I'm going to clone the database schema and the core data. And then you can see do I want to uh, have uh, it inherit the backup schedule, do I want it to uh, inherit the uh, core VM configuration, um, so you can see very, very uh, sophisticated capabilities to create replicas of databases, which is a very, very common task. And again, this can all be done programmatically, um, and this can all be done in a complete multi-tenant fashion. So here what we're doing is we're setting the expiration settings. Very important when you create such simple ease of provisioning, you want to make it so that by default there's some uh, 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 process whereby things expire. Um, otherwise, you know, you're going to continue to consume more and more uh, infrastructure resources as these things just continue to run forever. Here we're creating this linked clone. It's a very rapid operation. Uh, again, since we're leveraging a linked clone, um, it's not only rapid, it's not only leveraging the underlying uh, array uh, assists, but also it's consuming very, very little capacity. 
So uh, you, what we've seen here is how simple vFabric Data Director has made common tasks, deploying databases, and in the future, multiple database models, including relational databases, transactional databases, big data analytics databases, um, uh, backup, uh, rapid um, cloning operations, uh, um, all of these things day in the life of database administrators. So obviously the last step here is to show how simple and easy it would be to recover. So as I go into this, um, I'm going to uh, restore the um, database that we were backing up earlier. I'm going to uh, select which one of these uh, backups I want to recover from. Notice that if you're doing a continuous backup, you can uh, select a, a recovery point based on a continuous journal of that uh, database. Um, here we're going to do is we're going to say a restore to that individual uh, snapshot based backup that we took earlier and we hit OK and off it goes. So um, this process of recovery is uh, once again simple and easy, very very integrated, um, leveraging array assists wherever possible um, and uh, you can see here that what it's going to go through is it's going to revert back to that earlier point in time. So this demonstration shows the incredible power of this uh, new capability, the vFabric Data Director set of capabilities. It uh, provides a cloudification of the database, one of the uh, traditionally the least cloudy models uh, within the enterprise. Uh, it makes uh, simple and easy operations programmatic. It uh, institutes a model of multi-tenancy. Um, and it makes not only provisioning, but backup, recovery, uh, cloning operations of the database much simpler and much easier. Uh, it's really a great solution for the very large number of databases that uh, exist and proliferate within an enterprise around all sorts of test and dev use cases. Um, so something uh, that I'm very excited to demonstrate and very excited to show here at VMworld 2011. This restore is just about complete um, and there we go. And there you have it. VFabric Data Director.